What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. So I just wanted to bring you guys another case of where we've used the vaccine detox for a child with autism. Number one, it is not required to detox from vaccines because vaccines are not toxic. Number two, people are not born with autism. They are born autistic. To continue. And the changes that was noticed in this child, okay? Throughout this clown's video, he constantly says, okay. No, it is not okay to be practicing medicine without a license. So, this child was, um, how old was this child? I'm just looking at the case files here. Case files, he calls it. This person, as far as I can tell, over the internet, has absolutely no medical qualifications at all, no medical training at all, no medical experience at all, and he is offering medical advice and services. The services being, of course, homeopathy, i.e. magic. This child was almost three years old, okay? It was a little boy. Um... And I'm going to read to you before and after what the parents said to me before, same typical layout, what the parents said before, the main complaints, and, and what the parents noticed after we did the vaccine detox over the courses of weeks and ascending strengths of the vaccine detox, okay? That's right. According to the parents, there was improvement. You know what happens to parents when they observe their autistic children and they do not get any treatment over the span of maybe three and a half four years old, most of them see improvement. A whole bunch do not. A shitload will. That is because social skills, which in autism, there tends to be what is called a deficit, increase and, quoting, improve over time. If this clown's victims, let's call them what they actually are, not parents, victims seeing any, any improvement first off they need a metric on just what that improvement is and second how the fuck do they know it was this treatment homeopathy how do we know that they're even reporting accurately when they have a vested interest in stating that homeopathy helped because they have forked over some money for that so-called treatment. Okay. So you're going to get to see another case of different presentation, different symptoms got better, but changes in this child that they were trying to achieve with other healthcare practitioners. Other healthcare practitioners. Other. Nowhere on this clown's website is there any medical experience listed, no medical licensing listed, no medical practicing listed anywhere on the website nowhere can i find listed this clown's medical uh, certifications anywhere on the planet let alone canada where he appears to be living other healthcare practitioners this guy is not a healthcare practitioner he is a homeopath i.e witch doctor um, without this detox. So this detox is so key when it comes to a lot of children with autism, okay? Once again, no, it is not okay. Detoxification has absolutely nothing to do with autism because toxification has absolutely nothing to do with autism. Autistic people are not toxic. Vaccines do not cause people to be born autistic. Does not happen. So let's go through this. Um, I first started seeing these people August 30th, 2019, okay? Um, oh, no, I'm sorry. That's incorrect. I first started seeing these people August 23rd, 2019, okay? So they tried a bunch of homeopathic remedies before. They tried other healthcare practitioners with little success. It wasn't correct. It wasn't the correct medicine for this child. Medicine. This clown used the word medicine, even though he has no license to prescribe or hand over medicine or medication, at least according to this clown's website, 
And he was saying that he is giving little kids medicine. Where's the Canadian Medical Licensing Board? Why are they remaining silent? Why are they not doing something about this clown? When he said he's giving autistic kids medicine. As for giving autistic kids real medicine, i.e. medical care, they're not doing that, the doctors are not doing that to address autism. They are doing that to address comorbidity that is often associated with autism, such as attention deficit disorders or hyperactivity or insomnia. Uh, there's a shitload of um, comorbid uh, neurological issues that uh, autistic people tend to uh, have to deal with. The medicine, the real medicine, is used to address those comorbidities, not autism. Autism cannot be medicated. It is how a person is born. Medicine will not change that. You can't give medicine to a, oh, I don't know, homosexual and expect them to be heterosexual. Ditto, autistic people, medicine is not going to make them not, they're, gonna, they're not gonna be less autistic. Ah! Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it.